Hi, good morning. Welcome to one of the first live Q&As of the day for this morning's virtual open day. I'm Alex, I'm the marketing manager here at Brooks for Melton College and I'm joined by Lorna and Carol this morning from our beauty therapy and media makeup team and they are going to have a chat to you about the course and answer any questions that you might have. So, um, Lorna, would you be able to give us a bit of an overview of the course to begin with? Uh, yeah, so hi, I'm Lorna. I teach level two and level three beauty, th uh, beauty therapy at Melton College. Um, in my department as well, there is also Emma Bolsh who teaches the hair elements of the media makeup. There is um, Rachel Luan who teaches level two media makeup and Tracy Lefley um, and Sadiqa who are currently on level three media makeup. Um, so overall um, with beauty therapy, you will learn lots of practical elements and lots of theory elements as well. They combine together to make the whole of level two and level three beauty therapy. And that is the same prospects then with the level two and level three media makeup. So I will talk to you. Um, I have got some preemptive questions to go over with you. Um, so what are the entry requirements for the different levels? So um, for level two um, and to be accepted onto a course within the college, um, firstly, you would need either four GCSEs at grade D or three um, or the level one in hair and beauty skills and um, an entry level three functional skills. Now, following on from that, if you don't achieve your maths or English or one or either or um, within your high school, your GCSE, you then will be able to carry those out alongside your main qualification, whether that be media makeup or beauty therapy. Lovely, thank you. We have actually had a question come in. Um, so for media makeup, do you have to buy lots of kit and how much does it cost? So uh, for media makeup, you will have to buy kit and uniform. Um, so the uniform is a really smart navy blue tunic and matching trousers. Um, they aren't logoed with the BMC logo um, and the reason we've done that is then is you've got a professional uniform to set you up ready for industry when you leave the college. That kit is around 40, uh, that, sorry, that uniform is around £40 at the moment. That is subject to change. Um, and I believe the media makeup kit, which includes all of your hair elements, so your brushes, um, anything you'll need for the hair side. Um, there is also um, a, a head in there you would be able to carry out the treatments um, and there are some scissors in there as well and then you have a lot of your makeup kit um, to get you through all elements of the media makeup and that kit at the moment again is around £540. That is subject to change due to VAT increases or anything over the next year but you will be updated on any price changes as soon as we know them. Lovely and how about for beauty therapy then? Do you have to buy a kit for that too? Yeah so for beauty therapy the uniform is the same exactly the same across the department. Um, so again, that's around £40. The kit for level two beauty therapy will include brushes, facial sponges, all of your tools that you'll need throughout the course. Products are supplied by the college. At the moment is around £130. And um, whilst we're talking about kits and the money side, there are bursaries available for um, those who need that financial support. Um, and we do have a really dedicated team to help and guide you through that. If that is something that you're interested in or it's something that you may have to work with, um, please get hold of our student services at Melton College and they will direct you straight to the right people to help you with that. Yeah, I will, I'll put the email address in the chat so that people can access that. If, if That's brilliant, Alex. Thank you. Um, you know, it does sound like a fair chunk of money for the media makeup kit, but it is a sort of a worthwhile investment, isn't it, for your future career? Yeah, so absolutely. The kit that you get is a professional kit. It's not a college standard kit. It is a Krylon kit, um, which is a professional used across the world kit. Um, yes, so yes, everything in yes. there is top quality, your brushes, your aspects of makeup in there, any, any products that you have from Krylon will by far be perfect enough for you to go out into industry as a professional makeup artist and use those professionally. Brilliant, thank you. Um, Carol, perhaps you can answer the next one, please. Um, do you have to do the level two before the level three? 
Yes, you do across the department because in hair and media makeup and in beauty, you need to build on your skills. So the units um, in the in the level twos will help you prepare yourself and, and get those makeup skills and those beauty skills to the right level before you go on to level three. So yes, you do. Um, and what are the entry requirements for the for the different levels? As um, Lorna's already uh, already said, it is the GCSEs, um, four GCSEs, um, and, and including maths and English. Sorry, including maths and English um, to get onto um, the level three, the level two. However, if um, a student only has one of those or um, doesn't achieve them, they're not to worry because um, they can do them alongside their programmes. Um, we call it a study programme. So within that study programme, there will be the maths and English elements. There will also be the main vocational subjects, as Lorna has mentioned. There will also be lots of enrichment opportunities as well. So it won't we won't just be um, teaching and learning your main qualifications. There's lots of enrichments. Um, clearly, at the moment, we are restricted um, due to COVID. However, we're hoping um, that will soon lift and we can get specialist um, industry experts in to come and see them. We have a really good relationship with uh, Ragdale Hall, um, so they come in and enrich your programmes as well. Um, we're going to be um, taking part in competitions next year um, and really trying to enrich in those employability skills and that commercial element to get you employment ready. Um, and that's the whole focus of a study programme, as it isn't just your main qualification, maths and English, it is a broad um, experience in getting all of our students work ready and in those um, ideal career opportunities um, that come their way. I suppose we've kind of just touched on this, but somebody's asked, is the commercial salon open? At the moment, it can't because we're in national lockdown. Yeah. Um, but as soon as um, good old Boris uh, releases us from that, then yes, we will get um, the commercial salons back up and, and running because it is part of their assessments. Um, at the moment, we are having to adapt assessments on peers. Um, so to start off with, within all of the courses, there is while we're training, there is um, a lot of peer work together. So you need to be um, comfortable in you know stripping your own makeup off and um, having all of those treatments and you'll you'll do those on each other and then as soon as we hit that right standard then yes we do open commercially and we um, have staff use the salons and um, private uh, commercial customers so yes but okay. not at the moment ask me again on the 3rd of December <laughs> yeah <laughs> thank you um, I'll pass this next one on to Lorna we've got a few questions coming in now um, do you have to do any work experience? So for level two, there is no work experience required. Uh, for level three beauty therapy, um, you are expected to do a week's worth of work experience, um, which a lot of students worry about this, but it's a great way to get yourself into industry. And, you know, you can look into the sparse. We have lots of students who go over to Ragdale. Um, as Carol mentioned, we have a really strong rapport with them. We've had students go over to Clarins in the High Cross in Leicester. We've got a really nice rapport with those as well. Um, and then we've had a lot of students go into their local salons or salons within their area. And um, it helps you see, actually, no, I think the spa world is where I want to go. And it gives you that differentiation of where you see yourself going in the industry. And it helps you able to, you know, become a better therapist and follow your path and where you want to go. So there is a small amount in there, yeah. OK, um, and perhaps you can answer this next one. Um, how many days are you in college for? So at the moment, it's three days a week. Um, and as Carol's mentioned, we're obviously in a national lockdown again. So things right now are very different to how they would usually be within our, you know, with our remit. Um, so at the moment, it's three days a week. Um, one day is at the moment theory practical we are still trying to do as much practical as possible um so even if that's working on yourself applying and removing makeup you know we are still embedding all, all the practical we can get in um so the three days will include your maths and english as well and your tutorial slot as well so on average it's around 13.5 hours um a week and that includes your maths english and tutorial slots so it gives you a lots of opportunity there for independent study to be able to catch up on your theory work, any revision that needs to happen as well. 
Um, the library, you are allowed to access the library even on your non-college days, so you can still come in if IT facilities is something that you're not able to access at home. You can come and use our library and our computers within the college to do those things. Can I also add to that that our normal teaching day is between 9.30 and 4.30. Um, so they are predominantly our main teaching hours. That said, in the hair and beauty department and the actual makeup, there will be one late night per week. And that is where we do open up the practical and commercial salon to allow, um, obviously, our clients to come and pop in after work. Um, this year, it's going to be open until quarter past six. Um, it may even be longer than that. In previous years, we've opened till seven or half past seven. Um, so again, at the moment, things have had to change because of COVID and the restrictions. But please be prepared that there will be at least one night each week, which will be um, late commercial practical sessions. Lovely, that kind of answers the next question that's come up saying, are the courses full time? So yes, our courses are classed as full time, aren't they? Yes. Yeah. Lovely. Um, so, Carol, um, for beauty therapy, do you have to have level one beauty therapy skills to apply? No, no, no. As I say, it is a skills base, so we'll teach you um, all of the um, practical skills that you need and you can enter at um, level two. Um, and with your maths and English, you know, hopefully at those grade fours um, will will get you straight onto those courses. Lovely. And someone's asked, do we offer a level one? Well, that's a very good question. In the past, no, we don't. However, um, that is a process that I'm going through right now and looking at um, levels. And if there was a significant number of students that sadly couldn't go on to the level two, then yes, I would be considering that. Um, so um, it's something that we're in curriculum planning as we speak now. Um, and as I say, if um, we did have a cohort, when you do get those GCSE results, if we do have a, a cohort that sadly didn't quite make it for level two, um, then we, yes, the college would look into putting a level one on. That said, on those GCSE days, despite what um, qualifications you get, you do need to make contact with us. You will be invited in, obviously, to do induction and enrolment. But please, even if the grades aren't quite where you thought they would be, you do need to make contact with us and then we can see how we can help you and get you on that course, on those courses. OK, um, I'll pass this next one on to Lorna. Um, what facilities do you have? So within our department, we have um, two hairdressing salons, forward slash makeup salons. So they are you know, very versatile in the fact that they can be used for both elements. So full looks can be carried out, full hair and makeup, bridal, fashion, editorial, all those looks can be from head to toe carried out. And um, then we have a designated um, media makeup room full of mirrors and lights, which is brilliant. Again, that level three remit of the prosthetics, the bold caps, all the fun, messy yeah. stuff. So that's all in there as well. And then we have two uh, beauty therapy salons, so one larger one, one smaller one. Um, ideally, we try and keep the level twos into one salon and level three into another, especially at the moment with the current climate. Um, the department is all in one corridor, if you like. So we are all together. We are all in our in our bubble, which is brilliant because we get to bounce off each other. We get to work together, not just as staff, but as learners, as students as well. Um, and you get to normally I say pre pandemic, you would use each other as clients. So you might go to media makeup and have your hair and makeup done for a fashion show. Um, and then they might come back down and have a manicure and some waxing from yourself. So it is really nice how you become one huge team. The other, uh, the other facility we have is uh, we have a, a 35 foot green room. Um, so again, if you are doing your all looks, then we can take you into the green room, yeah. green room with the media students and they can take some photographs and then you can put on the green board behind you whatever um, look that you want to do. So again, you can build up a professional portfolio um, and that's something that um, the media students are only too happy to help. Um, so, so again, it gets you commercially ready and that portfolio ready for those um, interview opportunities. 
Absolutely. And in previous years as well, we've been um, because we're lucky enough to have the theatre attached and as part of our college, our students have done the makeup um, and the hair for those shows as well. So you are able to add these things to your CV before even going into industry, which is really exciting. Um, and we also do have a reception area. So you're able to, you know, home in on those skills of answering the phone in a professional manner being able to book appointments. So you are able to hit the ground running with a, a professional position within the industry. Commercially ready. Yes, absolutely, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Um, that kind of ties into another question that we've had. So it says, could I work in television with a media makeup qualification? Absolutely, yeah, absolutely. Media makeup um, is really exciting, actually. You can go into television, you can do everything and the nice thing with the qual that we run is because you're not just doing just the makeup or just the hair side you're able to go into television or film sets or the phot photographic work so you could be the makeup artist and hairdresser for the uh, models or even the photo shoot anything really you can work on counters you can then look into the beauty therapy elements and carry out full bridal parties so there is no avenue you can't travel down so um, especially with the level three media makeup, being able to have the, that prosthetic work in there and that advanced technique and black and white photography um, and eras and things like that. And continuity is a big thing. So uh, what continuity is, is if I did Carol's hair and makeup now and then that film ran over two years, for example, Carol would need to look, her hair and makeup would need to look exactly the same as it did two years ago. Or the film so you it is it's a really prestige course and it is a really high quality course and you will learn lots for the industry whichever avenue you go down okay. lots of free lots of freelance opportunities absolutely yeah absolutely yeah and a lot of students even go on to have their own businesses and things like that don't they yeah. as well and yeah, that's absolutely. why and that's why it's really important that we embed all of that in our study programs so um, again, that, that we're going to be putting on sessions about running own businesses and the commercial side of things. So, so it allows lots of opportunities for different pathways and different opportunities. Yeah. Thank you. Um, Carol, could you answer this one, please? Um, are piercings and nail extensions allowed? And what is the dress code? OK, so the dress code is um, the uniform, as we've discussed. Um, as far as piercings are concerned, um, Lorna, do you want to give the exact bit on the piercings? Yeah, obviously of course, yeah. earrings is absolutely fine, but yeah. then it gets a little bit more complicated, doesn't it? It does, yeah. So um, BTCT, we follow their criteria plus the college policy. So it's not, you know, it's, please understand that we're not, you know, being prejudiced against anybody that has piercings or tattoos, but we do have the strict criteria for health and safety reasons we need to follow. So piercings, as Carol's mentioned, is one pair of studs. That is it. Um, so any eyebrow piercings or piercings around the top of the ear would either have to be removed or taken out. Um, we do also accept like a retainer, so a clear piercing that comes through. They can also be added if you wish to not take them out or cover. Um, tattoos are allowed to be visible now. They originally weren't, but it's, you know, a very dynamic thing and they are now allowed to be visible as and when. They, they they are wherever they are on you. OK, thank you. And Lorna, how many students do we have in a class? Um, depends how many apply. So, um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so um, at the moment I've got around 25 students on level two, which is a good size. And that's that's quite an average size class for level two beauty therapy. It's pretty much the same number on level two media makeup. Uh, but because we do have ample salons, this won't affect your learning. You the more students you have, the more peers you get to work with, the bigger your group and the more practice you get done. So the bigger the group, the more exciting and the more work you get done across the board. They are split into two groups for practical sessions because obviously um, yeah. uh, where, where we can um, as well. So um, the individual um, assessment time is also there for the teaching staff to be able to um, develop your own skills so the feedback is crucial um, at every part of those practical sessions um, so when you've been a treatment um, you will get that feedback from your student from your lecture in both formative and uh, summative assessments yes okay. absolutely 
And um, Carol, um, somebody's asked, can I still apply if I have a learning difficulty? Of course you can. Um, learning difficulties don't stop anybody from teaching and learning. We have a, a really good uh, department and we will help you to progress through your studies um, and work closely with you during this transition time um, so we can ensure that we can meet your needs. So if you have an EHCP or a learning disability such as dyslexia, it's not a barrier at all. We will help you to overcome and put some strategies in to help you to continue with your study, no issues at all. Okay, thank you. And somebody's asked um, if we offer level one in hairdressing. Well, um, we, we don't offer hairdressing at the moment, but our sister college, um, Stevenson College, do offer hairdressing. How would you know if they offer a level one? Yeah, we don't actually offer a level one. Again, it's at level two. Um, however, um, they are to get in contact with the Stevenson um, members of staff and we can do some trade tests and things like that to see if we actually we could go on to straight onto the level two course. Okay great I've put um, the course inquiries email address um, in the chat so if you are interested in hairdressing um, just email the team here and we'll forward it on to Stevenson and get you in touch with them with the right people. Um, is there any age limit if you're if you're over 19 can you still do the course Carol? Yeah, definitely. Um, ne as I say, never any age limit to, um, to, to learning and developing your skills. So we do have um, a high proportion, actually, of um, older learners. Um, anybody that's over 19, again, there are bursaries there um, to help with funding your course there. So, yeah, um, no age limit. Lovely. OK, I think we've got time for we'll just perhaps a couple more questions that have come in. Um, Someone said, what happens if, what happens with travel as I don't live near the college? Um, would you like me to answer that one? Yeah, go on Alex, you do one. <laughs> <laughs> so we have amazing transport facilities actually. Uh, we have our own minibuses that we run as a college and you can also access um, quite a lot of the public transport around Melton too. Because the Melton campus is right in the middle of Melton Town Centre, um, if you live Leicester Way, you can access the 5A bus and the other surrounding villages have buses that come into the town centre as well. We also have quite good train um, access too if you live um, in Leicester or Oak and Peterborough that way. Um, if, you, if transport is something that you think you might need, um, again, if you contact that course inquiries at brooksbymelton.ac.uk, uh, we can put you in touch with the transport team here and they'll be able to tell you exactly where the nearest stop is to your house um, and again you can access bursaries and things like that if, uh, to help with transport as well. Um, okay and then just time for one more question I think quickly um, I can answer this one too. Will, will I be able to look around? Um, obviously at the moment again we keep talking about Covid but um, we can't have visitors on site at the moment but to help with that we've put together some really good virtual tour videos that you'll be able to find on the virtual open day website today. So there's a tour specifically about the beauty therapy and media makeup department that you can have a look at that today. And um, there's also some more general tours about the campus as well. Um, so hopefully that will give you a really good idea of what it's like to study with us. Um, fingers crossed towards the end of the academic year we will be able to have people in to have a look around but obviously we don't we can't guarantee that at the moment so check that out and there's hopefully there's lots of information on there that will, will help you with that. Um, just before we leave, um, if you do want to apply today, I have put the link in the chat, but there's also lots of um, boxes on the website so you can click apply. Um, and if you need any help with your application today, the admissions team are available to help you with that. So um, thank you very much, everyone. Uh, thank you, Lorna and Carol. for. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> and um, yeah, if you have any more questions, please email them through. Thank you. Bye. Bye.